Hello, thank you for choosing ARG. In this video, you will learn how to log into the VAST software and how to set up and save different views. First, your IT guys have already loaded the VAST 2 software, which should be on your desktop. It'll be a blue icon that looks like this icon here that says VAST 2. When you double click that, it'll bring you to this login screen here. You guys will see a default IP address, which will be in this field, which will start with a 10 dot and also this local station will not be checked. I have to keep this checked on mine just for example for the training purposes so I can actually log into the next step. Um, they set it up for you guys too so you'll use your AD account. You'll just make sure this AD account is checked at the bottom. What that does is give you the ability to use your same Windows credentials. So say like my name was John Doe. I would put John dot doe in the username and then my password same password I would use to log into my actual Windows PC you know at, at your desk um, the other thing which is cool on this screen is the auto login feature so if that's checked once you actually enter your credentials your username and your password it'll actually won't ask you again when you close out this program you can just simply hit the double click the vast two icon and then it'll take you directly to the view so you can see the camera so you won't have to enter your information again. I'm going to uncheck both of these because I don't want it to auto log in and I don't have an AD account set up here. So like I said for the training I'll uncheck those to show you guys the rest. So you'll type in your credentials, you'll hit login. Sometimes it takes a little while, sometimes it just kind of goes right through but just you know be patient. Once you log in, you'll see this screen here, pretty much to the left, it pretty much shows you all the cameras you have. And I know your IT guys under the view tab, they have all the multiple different schools with kind of like pre-set up views that you guys can kind of go through. So if you see your school listed under this, my, under this view tab, um, you can click your school there and it'll actually, you know, have some pre-set up views that you guys can kind of see if you like those. Or you can set up your own view, you know, to your own liking, which we'll go th through in a little bit. So if you go back to the sources, you'll see all the cameras here. And um, if you kind of go to the middle, this is the layout option. So if you click down here, this pretty much gives you different layouts you can have. I wouldn't go too far, like a 4-4 or 5-5, five five, because that's kind of too many cameras on one page. Maybe try to keep it with the 3-3. Three three. Once you select the 3-3, three Pretty much, there's three windows, one window, there's a window here, window here, and a window here. Window in the bottom, window in the middle, window in, on this far right, and then the same thing at the bottom. You just can't see them here until you start actually dragging cameras. But like if I took this backdoor camera and dragged it up here to the 3x3. Three three, So that's the back door. And then I can also add another one next to it, and then another one next to that as well. And so that'll be a three camera layout there. I could also add, you know, three more below there and then another three here, but I'll just kind of keep the three just for examples. And um, if you guys say like you have more than nine cameras, if you're looking to add your 10th camera, you will go up to this plus icon here click the plus tab then once again select what kind of layout you would want we can do another three by three there and then we can start adding more cameras so we'll do like the warehouse and we'll do like the warehouse entrance like I said I can keep adding you know one here one here one here one here and then three more at the bottom but I'm just gonna add another two to the second page for example purposes so now you'll see you have two eyes at the top. One's that first view you had which with the three. And then on the second one, that's the, another two cameras. So you can keep adding more eyes to get different views on different pages if you would like. Or if you're satisfied you know, with what you have, you just kind of stick there. So say like you wanted to actually save your layout to have these three here. And on the second page, these two here. You have to first go to the view tab and then you would actually click a plus sign and it's going to ask you to actually name the view. You can name it whatever you like. For this instance, we'll just name it my view two and you'll click the add icon. 
and then pretty much if you go up to the this icon here that looks like a gear it'll bring up the settings and you'll click the settings again now this is I'm I'm an, I have admin rights so you guys won't see all this stuff here but you will see the stuff under system and you would go then to system and then preferences once you click preferences it'll take you to this page here where you'll go down to where it says on startup under there you would actually click the open set of pages and you can scroll down and here you would tell it hey when I open up when I log into this system I want to open up a set of pages and then it's going to ask you to select the view and then you would select my view too. that's the view that we just created where it had the three on the first page and then the two cameras on the second page select that and then hit apply it'll give you that little green check and that way when you log back in it'll actually give you the same view you know that you had already and that sums it up for this video